You're asking, asking me? me? Well, let me think. Um, you either know, know this or not, not Max. Is, is there, there anybody, anybody here who knows, knows their stuff? stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. The process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely Can you believe I still have this pencil case? I should upgrade it to the 21st century. But I like it old school. You can find out all about them in your textbook or even online. Guys, guys, don't, don't forget, forget the deadline, deadline to submit a photo, photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be fed by, by the art world. It's great exposure and a can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Melissa get it together. Taylor, Taylor don't hide. I'm still, still waiting for your entry, too. Yes, yes, Max. I yes, see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. I'm putting yourself out there in the world, no matter who wins. This is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not... Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. They're just getting you always look. Welcome to the real, the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special contract. Dollars for a contract. Because Max wants every place to see every year she agrees that I have to. She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious, serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. Dollies with 
chimney could. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my stiff ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. She likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe who this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Mueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the. I should rewind. Can you I give actually me an did it. Of a photographer who perfectly captured the human time machine. Black and white. Anybody? Max, Bueller? don't hey, freak hey, out. Arvis. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her Keep it together, Max. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for. Oh. Oh, enough, Max. You can't go back any further. Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers. My pencil Twitter. case is still in the same she place. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? To 
too obvious? I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming Max, this. You all know the it's real. Portrait has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. Just for selfie expression. What if that girl so isn't I, dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. <laughs> but you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? detail on people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American to Gary Marion process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely, extremely pop. <sighs> now, Max, I can't continue. Since you've captured it hurts too much. You really want to join the conversation? Can you please tell it? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype. There's only one way around this. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so... I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. everybody in class is turning in a photo so you see the dilemma i know mr jefferson excuse me mr jefferson can i talk to you for a moment yes excuse you no victoria 
Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. 